Welcome to The Daily for Friday, July 23rd with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini, and after a short path train to Red Bull Arena, Thierry Henry got to business. And he actually did take the path train out to Red Bull Arena for this game, and it didn't take him that long to show exactly why he is a designated player and the superstar that everybody knows him to be. He scored a nice goal, just a little poacher's goal, getting right in front of the defender, poking mm -hmm. it past the goalkeeper. But we also should give credit to Joel Impair down the left yeah. side, making a nice little move to get in and playing a good ball to the near post. Yeah, Henri had a couple chances. Uh, he had an earlier chance mm -hmm. that he could have finished. Um, he looked good. He, he fit in with the team. Yep. He moved the ball around the park well. I think if you're a Red Bull fan, you have to be excited for what he's bringing despite them dropping the game. He looked to energetic. One. He looked spry. He had some beautiful little touches that you saw that real class. And I think when you look at the Red Bulls and you're thinking Juan Pablo on hell coming back in to help him up as well. I also think that he's, he's the kind of player, and we saw it last night, who can lift his teammates a little bit. You right. could see that Dane Richards was playing with a little more energy, a little more concern about every touch on the ball. Right. Uh, Seth Stamler doing a good job in behind defensively and sort of moving as well. Should have had a goal on a beautiful ball from Dane Richards, but all in all, you have to say, that was a scintillating debut from Henri. Yeah, and after that, the second half of last night's doubleheader was L.A. hosting San Jose in the California rivalry that they've had for a while now. On, get it right, the California Clasico, as we will. Okay, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> Uh, another entertaining game, Bobby Convy yeah. getting on the board real early. It was interesting, the subplot of Bobby Convy going against Bruce Arena, the coach that didn't originally pick him for the All-Star team. He was kind of uh, in the media outspoken about, I, you know, someone on our team deserves to be in the All-Star game. I think I should be in the All-Star game. And then he comes out and he shows L.A. why. Well, look, Bruce Arena eventually did come around and brought him in as soon as another player wasn't able to make it. And he did say Convy should come in. And what, it took a couple of minutes and Bobby Convy gets on the board against Los Angeles. I think the most interesting thing of all this, Jason, though, is what Bobby Convy said after the game. The comments that he made about the Los Angeles Galaxy really were amazing. Yeah, I have the quote here. He says, I think their record is a bit unrealistic because they played three more games than we have, and I don't think they're as good as everyone thinks they are. They, are, they had a good run and they have good players, but I felt that we lost the game and they didn't. So, really, the key to this is I don't think they're as good as everyone thinks they are. Yeah, well, you know, Bobby Convy making a huge statement and it's easier to do when you go down to Los Angeles and you get a draw mm -hmm. and you score the goal it's a lot easier for Bobby Convey to say that if they had lost 3-0 he wasn't going to say any of this and, and really when you look at it San Jose, they did give this game away. You know, mm -hmm. defensively, in the last couple of minutes, you know, a Frank Yallop team, he was a defender his entire career. He's always preached good, strong, solid defense, and they buckled in the end. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I thought Ike Opara had a great game, a mm -hmm. great second half. He was really dominant in there, and he actually um, caused the second San Jose goal. Obviously, Landon Donovan is Landon Donovan for a reason. He comes up clutch at the end of the games. He's the all time uh, lead in MLS in the the most stoppage time or extra time <laughs> goals yeah. and he missed this he missed adding to that tally by about five or ten seconds so um, impressive by Landon Donovan and the Galaxy to fight and, back. And we have to keep talking about Edson Buttle. The guy continues to get goals to get into good scoring chance uh, positions. I mean he actually should have had a header that he almost put away that was blocked by Convy on the line earlier in the game right. and then the goal he does get is one of those things where you think Where's the defense? This is the leading scorer in the league, and you're not marking this guy in the far post. And his feet are a little tangled up, but he gets it right in the end and puts it away. Yeah, he definitely knows how to find the space. Uh, moving on, Greg, uh, one more MLS note um, coming out of yesterday. Jack McInerney looks like he's being loaned out to Harrisburg to get some more playing time. And this, I think, comes from how well the Philadelphia team has been playing lately. They want to get McInerney playing time, and he's not going to see enough of it behind Mwanga, Latou, Moreno. Well, I think this is a question of also, you know, where the reserve league is for MLS, that there are no real chances right now for a young kid. I mean, let's remember, he's still a teenager, and he's, he's got a lot of growing to do, a lot of development to do. He can go down to Harrisburg, he can get playing time, he can be playing against adults every single day right. in games that matter, and you know what, I think that's a good relationship that Philly's also trying to establish with Harrisburg. They, they already sent Tony Stahl down there earlier in the season for mm -hmm. a loan. Now they send one of their young strikers who, let's be honest, when he came on against Manchester United, had no fear getting in, running into space, and yeah. taking a shot very early on when he came on. He didn't really, really look out of place. Nope. Uh, looking ahead to the weekend, Greg, as we wrap up, a bunch of big games. Toronto uh, hosting FC Dallas, Columbus hosting Houston, Real Salt Lake hosting Chivas. What are you looking forward to? 
I think that a couple of games, actually. I think that the Toronto FC Dallas game is going to be fascinating. First of all, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is a preview of MLS Cup 2010, people. You hear it here again, I'm saying it. This is a preview of the Cup final. The second thing is that, you know, look. Dallas playing very, very well. If you're not interested in seeing David Ferreira play, then you're not interested in, play, in watching really great soccer. And Toronto unbeaten at home this season. So you have a couple of you know immovable forces coming together. And also, I think the Salt Lake Chivas game will be really interesting. Salt Lake coming off of that loss. Mm -hmm. Now they come back home where they've had great success at Rio Tinto Stadium. And Chivas, a team that's looking to find itself, Giancarlo Maldonado now there, Rodolfo Espinosa now coming in, and they're going to have yeah. some some uh, you know some impetus to get forward. Yeah, Chivas adding uh, a bunch of pieces. Those are the Saturday games on Sunday. Seattle hosting Colorado, and then also there's a doubleheader on Fox Soccer Channel of MLS versus EPL teams. The Red Bulls take on Manchester City, and Kansas City, of course, taking on Manchester United. Well, Manchester all over the United States right now. The Mancunians must be having field days <laughs> around the country. I think the New York Man City game, another chance to see Thierry Henry and what he can do. Actually, on MLSsoccer.com, we've got some of the Man City players talking about Thierry Henry. That'll be up a little bit later on. And then, of course, Kansas City, Manchester United. The story coming out of here is that Sunil Chetri, the Indian striker, is looking to get some more playing time in this game. Uh, Peter Vermees has said that he struggled to really adjust to the physicality of the game in the U.S., but this is a chance that he's going to see some time against Man United. Yeah, a low-pressure game for, for them to get him out there and get him a mm -hmm. run and see what he can do. That's it. Enjoy the weekend of soccer. There's plenty of games for you to watch. We'll be back next week.